we are for the second day in Ukraine. We start the day with the celebration of Mass in the Greek Catholic Rite with the Bishop and the Auxiliary Bishop in Uzgorod. The house was used as a library during the communist time and returned to the church in a deplorable state. After years of searching funds and restoration of the structure, the building now looks splendid again. In the Great Hall, Bishop Milan tells us the fascinating story of his predecessors. Some 200 years ago, when Marie Theresia was Empress of the Austrian-Hungarian Empire, she befriended the Greek Catholic Bishop of Mukachevo. She helped him to move to Uzgorod, some 30 kilometers away. The newly restored building continues to express the thanks of the local community to Marie Theresia. This is especially visible in the Great Hall. This large room also contains the Bishop's See, a symbol of his task of leading the community in their faith. A radio interview by Europe and young people proves to be very interesting. Thanks to the profound questions of the interviewer, and maybe also to the radio cookies that they serve. We cannot leave without visiting the cathedral, most of which dates back to Marie Theresia. For many years it was served by Jesuits, which may explain some resemblance with what can we call the mother church of the Jesuits in Rome, Il Gesù. The cathedral is a prayerful building with a beautifully carved iconostasis in late Baroque or Rococo style as they call it. This screen separates the nave of the building from the holiest of holiest, where the altar stands and the Eucharist is preserved. That space too is beautifully decorated. The weather gets better and warmer. We forego international fast food and decide on a tasty ice cream and a local drink, quast they call it. It's made of barley and has a strong taste of yeast. It reminds me of the smell of the yeast factory in my student town Delft. This gives us enough strength to debark on a four hour drive to Lviv where other adventures will be waiting.